Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Poetic Cards. I'm Tristan Goodman. I'm a grad student, writer, and tarot card reader. And this channel is an outlet in which I combine poetry and tarot card readings together to create a new way of engaging with tarot cards. This channel is meant for people who are interested. Hi. So, if you're wondering who this person is, that was talking and now frozen in time, that would be me. My name is Tristan Goodwin and I'm an educator at the Museum of the Moving Image. And this video is about the basics of editing. So the little snippet that you just view is gonna be the example that I showcase how to do simple editing from cutting audio and video and even adding text. So let's get to it. What is video editing? A post-production technique that allows a film, TV show, or animation to be worked on and finalized after recording. Editing is very important for it allows you to improve the quality of your work in many ways, from just adding effects to cutting pieces of video and audio as many times as you like. Before we get started, Make sure that you have a video you would like to work on for today, as we will be looking at adding slash cutting video and audio as well as text. Okay, so here we are with Lightworks. So this is my hub. Those are all the projects that I have created and have edited throughout all the time. So with Lightworks, what we can do is create a new project or we store an archive project. So let's create a new project. This would require us to make a name in which I'm just going to type test one and then frame rate. So essentially frame rate is the amount of frames that is being processed in a second that it's being shown within a second. So think of cartoons, TV shows, those are normally 30 frames per second, while video games can be 60 to 120 frames. So if you don't know the particular frame rate of your video, I would suggest that you choose auto to save you like time and energy. And later on, we can discuss frame rates. All right, so here is the log of the program this is essentially where you would import stuff using your directory but really fast let's look at the editor so this is the timeline here this is where your audio and video will be discussed be shown where you see v1 a1 a2 those are the channels so it, that's essentially where you can edit the audio, you can change it. Some of the tools within Lightworks is embedded inside it. And that means that you won't necessarily find like a trim tool or like a copy tool or some other kind of tool that you see in other editors here. You would pretty much use shortcuts and like certain mouse movements to do that. But really fast, let us um, import our video. I'm going to go into local files and I am going to quickly search for the video that I want to work on. Okay, there it is. All you have to do is double click it twice. Next, I am going to search for the background music that I want to use. And there it is. Double click it. And now let's go to edit. So here we have both things there. And we're just going to drag both of them down. And now let's see what this sounds like unedited, including the background music. Hello 
Okay. Well, I definitely like the music, that's for sure. But can't we agree that, like, it's really hard to hear me? Like, my, my voice is being muffled out by the music. So, let's first edit this video before we even work on the audio. So, allow me to show you what this red pointer thing does. It allows you to go through the video really fast. You can also zoom in and use it to see the audio waves, so how loud a particular sound is at a certain moment within the video or audio file. And now, let me show you something else. So we are going to put in an end mark. And essentially we are going to make a border within a particular section of this video. Now we're going to add an out mark to it. And we see two blue lines. So this will give us the ability to either delete and leave a gap within the timeline, or we can just remove that section and have the section that isn't cut off, that isn't being blocked, to move all the way, to, all the way to the beginning of the video and audio. So essentially closing the gap. So we're going to undo that and we are going to see the second option. Now we're just going to remove that big video and audio. And now we can focus on the beginning. So right now, we kind of need text for this video. I think a title would be appropriate. So we're going to go to video effects, VFX, and there's all sorts of options that are given to us. We can change the color. We can change the brightness. We can do all sorts of crazy things, but let's go put in text. And there's already a title effect for us. So let's see what that brings us. Something pretty brand, don't you think? I want something a bit fancy for my liking. So I think this one would be perfect. Yes, it is. So for the heading, I'm going to put in my channel name that I was using at the time. And then I'm going to put in my name. Okay. So let's see what this video looks like. Okay, so there's a problem. The that heading isn't disappearing. It's just blocking piece of my face. So there's a quick fix to that. What we're gonna do is essentially unfold the effects with the video, and that means that we're gonna make the effects have a separate tr channel, in which we can just edit like a video. So we're just gonna move the effect to a little portion of the video instead of it covering the entire video. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel for the cards. I'm Tristan Goodman, I'm a grad student, I'm a grad student, I'm a grad student, and this channel is a good one. Okay, so there we should lower it a little bit, and I think that's perfect. 
But I don't want it to just magically cut off from the video. I want it to be a bit more professional. So what we can do is add in a fade in effect. So I'm going to just put a fade for 0.5 for both the heading and subheading. And let's see what that looks like. I'm Tristan Goodman. I'm a grad student. My name is okay, perfect. Now the last thing we have to focus on is audio. So we're just going to turn off A1 and A2 and just see the um, audio levels for the back. Okay, so you notice the red levels there? Yeah, that's not good. We want to lower that. So we'll just slide those arrows down. Okay, a bit lower. We want it to hit the green. I've engaging with tarot cards. This channel is meant for people who are interested in tarot card reading. Okay, and perfect. So essentially, we got the audio down packed. You can hear both my voice and the music without it competing with each other. And now we're finally at the end portion where we can export. Simple right click. We're just going to choose the free options. You can also export to Vimeo YouTube if you have channels or accounts there. And we can choose a resolution. We're going to choose the highest one, which is 720p at the moment. And it will just export. So as you can see, audio is a very important thing with editing. So it makes a big difference when you can balance out those sounds. And our rendering is complete. So the export time can be a bit different depending on how big the video file is and how strong your computer is. But I think 16 seconds is a pretty decent time. So thank you for watching. Watch out next time for my part two in which we go into even deeper concepts. Take care.